Hey everybody, Dan Holstein here, helping your business take flight. Question for you, have you ever had a staff member that made you feel kind of like they're holding you hostage? You'd rather move them on, but you feel like you can't? If that's ever happened to you, stick around for this week's video. I'm gonna share with you some strategies to identify who these people are, what to do about it, and help illuminate what the cost to them staying in your business is. So, stick around. So have you ever felt held hostage by a, by a challenging employee? And I don't necessarily mean that they're a bad person, but they're, they're probably really good at what they do, but they're not a, a good fit for, for the culture of your company, or they're not a team player, or they may be pressing buttons and pushing boundaries because they know that they can get away with it because they've got a great skill set. Have you got a person like that in your mind? You've ever encountered somebody like that? The challenge with these folks is that, well, we don't want to let them go because they're really good at what they do, but the, the other challenge is they don't get along well with everybody else. So I want to share a little strategy with you on how to identify and deal with people like this. So we have a little grid here, a two by two grid, and on the bottom we've access is attitude, and on the, the left hand side is not so good attitude, and on the right hand side is better or good attitude. And at the vertical axis we have skill, and at the lower end is not that great of a skill, and at the top is great skill. So the question is, where do we put our A players? How do we quantify an A player in our organization? Well, we would like to think they have a great attitude and great skill. So that's going to be on the top right corner of of the, of the grid. Now, where do we put our D players? Now, the D players are the ones that probably they're a hiring mistake. We should probably release them to pursue success elsewhere, right? We shouldn't have brought them on in the first place. It's pretty easy to see that they're going to be the low skill, low attitude, or poor attitude. So that's going to be the bottom left square. Now it gets tricky. Where do we put our B players? Some business owners, when I ask them this question, they say, well, they have to have a good skill to be a B, so we can put them at the top left. I would counter that a little bit. I'd say put them at the bottom right. They have a great attitude. They may have some skill, but they haven't developed all the skill they need to be an A player. And that leaves our C players at the top left. That means that they have the great skill, but maybe their attitude is not where it needs to be. So the question is, what happens if we keep C players in our organization? And guess what? Most people, most business owners do because they're difficult to get rid of because they have a good skill set. and We're afraid to let them go because what's going to happen? Who's going to backfill for, for their skill set and ability? But what happens is, imagine if you put an A player and a C player together. The C player has not got a great attitude, they're pressing buttons, they're taking advantage a little bit, and they're pushing these boundaries. Well, the C player, or pardon me, the A player, they're doing a great job, great attitude, and they're, they're playing by the rules, and they see the C player not doing the same thing. They're getting great results, but they're not playing by the same rule book as the A player is. Now, with prolonged exposure, that A player may start to morph into a C. That attitude of entitlement or pushing the boundaries and getting away with things can be infectious and it can infect other people because they see the other person getting away with doing less, um, less contribution, less teamwork, and getting away with it. Now remember, whatever we allow, we encourage. So if you let a C player continue like that, you have the possibility to have an A player affected negatively. Now the thing is, the A player, you can shift people's attitude down. It's more difficult to shift someone's attitude to the positive which is why most C players never want to get better in terms of attitude. They don't think they've got a problem. And they may not. They're probably just not a really good fit for your organization. So we want to make sure that we don't keep our C players on because they impact our A players, which is really bad. Now, guess what happens if you have a C player that's coupled up with a B player? Well, the B player, remember, they have a great attitude, but they don't have all the skill that they need to really excel in their role. Well, if they, if they hang around with the C player, they're going to start to have an attitude change as well, which means that B player is going to morph over into a D player. Now we have a real problem. We have fewer Bs, we have more Ds, and we're going to have some turnover issues and productivity issues as well. Conversely, if you have a B player that's hanging out with an A player, another person with a great attitude, they're probably going to want to mentor them and help them out a little bit. And the B player wants to get better because they have that great attitude. So if we marry up or, or pair up a, a B and an A, the B is going to get better. If we pair either an A or B with a C, or they're exposed to them in the organization, their attitude is going to shift to the negative, and now we have a real challenge. So if, I hope this tool has been kind of helpful for you in terms of being able to determine who do we have on our team, what are the A, Bs, and C players, and what you need to realize as well is that if the, when you let that C player go because you realize they're truly not a fit, the A players and B players are probably going to come up and thank you for it because they've been exposed to negativity and the poor attitude. And they wonder what took you so long to get rid of them. So uh, I hope this has been a value for you. If, if you. if it has been, please give us a like, a subscribe, a share. And I'd love to see your comments below. Let us know what you think about dealing with, um, with challenging team members. I'd love to hear your opinion and your, your thoughts on that. So that's it for this week. Have a great week. We'll catch you next time.